Hello friends. Today in this video, I'm going to address three questions which generally many teachers, students and parents across different regions keep on asking me. First question. In the era of technology, do our children need to memorize the multiplication tables? Second, if yes, then up to which number? And the third question, in case our children need to memorize the multiplication table, is there any easy way or what method should we use to make them learn the multiplication tables? The answer to first question, do they really need to memorize? My opinion is yes, they must memorize few multiplication tables and the reason, if the children do not know the multiplication tables, they always lack confidence in mathematical classes. Many of them always find algebra as a difficult, dull and a boring topic. And the research shows that the multiplication tables or mental mathematics which we do, it sharpens our mind. And it has also been shown by the research that the students doing mental mathematics, their one part of the brain is always active which makes them more emotionally stable. So these are the reasons why our children must learn mathematical tables and then use it doing mental calculations. Now the second question is, if our children need to memorize the multiplication table, then how many tables do they need to memorize? Do they have to memorize 10, 15, 20 or 25 tables? Let us consider they memorize these 20 multiplication tables, in this case, they have to learn all 400 elements specified in this table. But do they really need to learn all these 20 multiplication tables? Answer is no. To my opinion, even if they learn tables up to 10, is sufficient to them and they can do mental mathematics and calculations very well. The only thing is they need to know certain techniques, how to multiply two digit numbers, three digit numbers and so on. So those techniques they need to master. For example, if a child has to multiply 14 by 8, instead of multiplying 14 by 8 directly, we should train our children how to multiply 10 by 8 and 4 by 8 and then add. 80 plus 32 is 112. So our children can do it in fractions of seconds. So no need to learn multiplication tables beyond 10. Now the third question and the most important. How can we make our children memorize all these 10 multiplication tables? And if you look at this 10 by 10 grid, there are 100 elements. But all of us know that the table of one is child's play. It's very easy to learn and similarly table of two children spend hardly any time in memorizing table of two as well. And then comes the table of 10 which again is very easy. So we do not have to put so much efforts to make our children memorize these three tables. Now we are left with few more tables. Uh, I will specifically discuss table of 3 and 4 first. My suggestion to all my students, teachers and parents always is make our children learn the multiplication tables in three steps. Step number one, make them learn the multiples of that particular number. For example, 4, if we want to make our children learn the table of 4, make them learn the multiples of 4 in order like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. And then a bit fast, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And once the children learn all the multiples of 4 up to 10 quickly, start correlating these multiples with the table. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12 and so on. This is step number 2, make them learn like this. And step number 3 is, they should know the random multiples of 4. Example, 4 times 8 is 32, then 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 9 is 36 and 4 times 6 is 24. 
So these three steps, I'm sure our children can learn the tables very effectively and quickly. So I repeat the steps, multiples of four, then correlate those multiples with the table and then the random multiples. So this is how you can make your children learn the table of three and four. And once they learn table of three and four, all these elements they would have already memorized. And we are left with hardly 25 elements. And we know that table of five is again very easy. We can make them learn in the same way. And once they learn the table of five, we will be left with these elements. As far as table of nine is concerned, it's again very easy. The only thing is if we know the pattern. Now look at this table of nine. The sum of digits of product is always equal to 9. 9 times 2 is 18, 1 plus 8 is 9, times 3 is 27, 2 plus 7 is 9 and so on. And another observation in the table of 9, 9 times 2, if we are multiplying by 2, the first digit of the product is 1. If we are multiplying by 3, the first digit of the product is 2. If we multiply by 6, the first digit of the product is 5 and so on. Once our children become familiar with the table of nine, now in this grid, we are left with only nine elements. And out of these nine elements, three are perfect squares. Six times six is 36. Seven times seven is 49. And eight times eight is 64. Again, squares are easy to memorize. Now, the last, we are left with six elements. And these are not exactly six, I, I will call it these are three multiples because we know that six times seven is 42 and six times eight is 48 and seven times eight is 56. So these are the three multiples which I believe children find a bit challenging. Once children follow this method of finding the multiplication tables, I think it is going to be really helpful for our children, for teachers and for parents as well. So this was all about multiplication tables. If you like this video, hit our like button, subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.